Welcome to the WWE 2K22 My Rise Mode featuring yours truly, TJP. Or Suicide. Manic. Etc. Right here on the Suicide TNA channel. And please remember, like, subscribe, and comment if you want to see more content such as this. And for now, enjoy the video. I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. You come into our sport, think it's gonna be easy, but you're in for a real wake-up call. If you ask me, I think he's going to do big things here. Look out, Superman punch! That shovel's an equalizer. Spear, spear! This is gonna be one for the ages. We are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. So this is it. Day one of training at the WWE Performance Center. As you can see, it looks like everyone heard I was coming and decided they'd be better off staying home. This is cool. But there's no way my journey ends here. I'm going to WWE and then straight to the top where I make sure hey, that- what are you doing? You're an hour and a half early for your orientation. I was just... checking out the facility? <laughs> There'll be plenty of time for that later. How did you even get in here? Guy up front let me in. Oh, big guy with the mustache? Kind of sweaty? Yep. Well, that's Todd's final strike. Hope he enjoys early retirement. Oh, no need to get anyone in trouble. He, uh, definitely checked my ID and even did a pat-down. Really thorough. So Todd's all right in my book. I feel very safe in his big, sweaty hands. Fine, whatever. Anyway, you're going to need to fill out your information on this and sign a bunch of waivers before you can begin training today. And when you're done with all that, there's actually a fun part. You get to design your wrestling gear in case you become a WWE superstar. You mean, when I become a WWE superstar? Yeah, sure. Wait, have you been filming this entire time? Is that a problem? Filming's not allowed in here without prior consent, which you should have been told by security. Frickin' Todd! Turn it off, please. You done with all that yet? Just finished. It takes time to design a look like that. I've seen worse. So now what? Should I go wait at the front desk with you until it's time to start? Front desk? What do you think I do here? I'm Corey Klein, head recruiter and occasional babysitter of people who don't follow instructions and show up way earlier than they're supposed to. Oh, that Corey. I guess when we were emailing, I just saw your name and assumed that... You know what? It's nice to meet you in person, finally. Go get changed. Then head over to the gym. The other trainees who started last week should be showing up soon. And to clear up any potential confusion on your end, they are men. Got it. Thanks.
Hey, new guy, right? I'm Hector Flores. Welcome to the PC. Thanks. And I'm well aware of who you are. I've watched a lot of your matches online. I'm excited to get going, especially since I heard you started last week. It started here, at least. I've been training in wrestling for years before this. It's part of growing up in Mexico. Wait, you didn't have family in the business, did you? No, where I'm from, you were either into wrestling or football. Sorry, soccer. I chose wrestling. I played soccer when I was a kid, but there weren't enough moonsaults or super kicks. So as soon as I was old enough, I started wrestling. I'm jealous you were able to get going so early. It's a blessing and a curse. You trained at Booker T School? What was that like? Booker's great. He gave me the foundation I needed to make it on the indies, but it was time to take the next step, and that meant coming here. He put in a word for me, and luckily WWE liked what they saw. Must be nice to have that kind of support. It is, but I don't want anyone to think I only got here because of him. I'm going to prove that I earned this. All right, then. Good luck. Hey, who are you? It's my first day training here. Who are you? Seriously? Have you not been watching Japanese wrestling for the past six years? I'm Paragon J. Pierce, the biggest free agent WWE signed since AJ Styles. Uh, bigger, actually. I actually know who you are, but no, I don't watch your matches. I don't want your boring, crappy style rubbing off on me in any way. Look me up online. Just search for best indie wrestler in the world. So you're an indie wrestler, huh? Man, you guys are all the same. You come into a major promotion thinking it's going to be easy. But you're for a real wake-up call. I don't plan on being here very long. They actually should have never sent me here to begin with. But I'm going to take this opportunity to send you running back to whatever backyard county fair parking lot indie league you came from. I'll be the first one to admit, I have a lot to learn. But I'm not going to be intimidated by someone just because they have more experience than I do. You can do or say whatever you want, but I won't give up. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we'll find out about that soon enough. Good luck, rookie. I heard you were starting today. Big fan. Thanks. I'm a big fan of yours, too. How? I've never even had a televised match before. Oh, sorry. I was just trying to be polite. Ah, <laughs> it's okay. I'm relatively new to all this, but you and I have actually appeared on the same indie show in Memphis before. Really? I'm pretty good with faces, and I don't remember yours. <laughs> well, that's because you couldn't see my face. I was a mascot named Ribby. Oh yeah, the Memphis minor league baseball shows. I think I saw you win a dance-off. That was me! The best part of the job was getting to rub elbows with legends like Jerry the King Lawler. Mm. He found out I was training on the side as a wrestler and actually helped me get a shot here. Not that I couldn't have made it on my own. Look, I had some help from Booker T getting my foot in the door. But just remember, neither one of us would be here if we weren't talented. True. Oh, before I forget, can you sign something for me today before you leave? What's the rush? You think I won't be here long? No, it's not like that. I mean, yeah, maybe. But it'd be because you got some big indie match opportunity. Not because you couldn't cut it here or anything. I don't do autographs for mascots. Sorry.
I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. The rest of you have heard this speech already, so we'll try to make it quick. On our first day, he did the whole ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages thing. It was awesome. We'll do the talking, Chase. I was just telling him about your cool DX intro you did. Chase! What Road Dog was getting at is we are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. Keep in mind, you will be judged at all times. The big man in the sky is always watching. Not that big man. There's a camera up there with a live feed that goes directly to Triple H's office in Stamford. The coaches and PC staff certainly have input. But ultimately, he'll decide when the time's right to bring the GMs from NXT, Raw, and SmackDown here so you can showcase your talents. <laughs> I'm ready for that now. Yeah, we know you think that, but it's not your call, Big Shot. Okay, now that all that's out of the way, we're going to start with some one-on-one -on -one matches to see where everyone's at. All right, new guy, since it's your first day, We'll let you choose who you want to face. Okay, let's get started. Yeah. 
before you say anything, do you really think you just got everything I had? It's obvious I shouldn't be here. So I'm not going to give 100% in a training match against a nobody. Cool. Is that what you're going to tell Triple H? Because he probably won an explanation for why the hottest free agent signing since AJ Styles just lost to a nobody. Triple H wasn't watching our match. The coaches just say that to scare you rookies. You think so? Because I'm pretty sure after I beat you, I looked up at the camera and saw it zooming in on me. Probably Triple H wondering who this rookie was who just showed him they're wasting a crap ton of money on an overhyped bust. Face me when it really counts, and we'll see what happens. Here's the thing. I think it already did, and we saw what happened. But I'm happy to give Triple H a replay anytime.
and his opponent, representing the Hart Foundation, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rich the Hitman Hart! I gotta say, guys, it is an absolute honor to be here ringside to call a match featuring the excellence of execution. How funny it is to hear you change your tune, Saxon. You've been complaining about the Hitman's attitude recently, and I think it's ridiculous. The only thing you've ever excelled at is being so hard. I have the utmost respect for Bret Hart, but I don't appreciate the fact that he seems to not believe that people still respect him the way they have over the last 10 years. And you can sense the anger emanating from the competitor tonight. Eyes like a blazing fire. This is a man you don't want to be in front of right now. He's a man possessed is what he is. We got Canada's favorite son on the other side. There's no question Hart's an elite strategist, but will the hitman be able to carry out his plan as he devised it? Into the cover! And he gets his shoulder up before the count. He is definitely struggling to keep him down at this point. What's going to happen here? Nice. Knee right to the back. Oh, to the arm. Terrible. Carefully measured knee drop. Climbing to the top rope. Crash landing. He saw it coming. Leaping into the wheelbarrow, up and around, boom, DDT. Is it enough? There's two. Near fall for the Hitman. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Looking wobbly in the corner. Kick. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Uh-oh, wrist lock. Springboard. DDT! Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. Got the head scissors cinched in, and here come the elbows. Vicious. Retaliation from the Hitman. Kick lands. Now the arm's trapped. Oh, his shoulders are down. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. He's far from finished. Carefully measured knee drop. Oh, right in there. Oh, my gosh, what impact. Oh, stomping away. Look at this. This is outrageous athleticism. Ooh. He is rubbing up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Quick reaction to Hart there. Swanton finds the mark. He's heading up top. Thinking big. He's positioning himself. Closing in. Oh, look out. Tommy Hurricane. Whoa. Hart is being stifled in this one. The hitman unable to use his wide arsenal here. Taking this match off the mat now. Top up. Got the knees up just in time. This could turn things around. Down with a suplex. DDT! The Hitman ready to go. Ready to end this. If he can start One last gas effort, and that'll do it. Yeah. Oh, 
right to the gut. High risk Gary up there. Will it? He's determined to keep this matchup going. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Just won't give up. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. Hart wasted no motion on the counter. Big four. Set it up. Nice suplex. Vertical suplex. Oh, swan time. Climbing up top. He's got big plans. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, he knew what was coming. Not so fast. Hurricane Rod. Three. to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. Right back down. Legs are locked. The knee bar is locked in. Submission locked in tight. Nowhere to go. No escape. This could be the end. There's no way he's... He needs to get out of the ankle lock and does so.
Introducing first, from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 190 pounds, T.J. Perkins. Well, this competitor was on the Indy he crossed paths with some future WWE superstars, but he must know this is a completely different animal. And he's on a different level now, but the only way to prove that is by stringing victories together. Superstar. Fortunately, this is tag team rule, so they only have to worry about one superstar at a time. Well, most of the time, at least. Oh, man, landing awkwardly. Oh, God. Oh, he has the answer for the rock. Snap there. Boom. Oh, oh, nasty. Cover. Keeping a loss at bay for now. What a man of honor. Oh, Swanton. Goes into the pin. He's able to kick out before two. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. It's a dive! Oh, nope. 
Wait, maybe not. You got fooled again, Byron. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his Two. side. And The Rock is getting dismantled. And The Rock is being dominated here. Getting set up for something in the corner. Oh, man. Nasty kick. <laughs> DT. Rock with a great dodge. A fast. Start down hard. He can end it. Starting to see the tolls of this match add up. He's burying elbows in the midsection. The sound of the 
this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. He eludes the contact. Combination of shots there. Heavy knee strike. Cover. Is it enough? One, two. Oh my God, he's still on the match. He got the shoulder up right at the last moment. Oh my! Setting him up for the flip oh Man, face first. Tagging his partner in now. What could The Rock be looking for? Lift off. Oh, just completely off target there. And that might have been too erratic of a decision to take such a high risk at this junction of the match. DDT. Yep.
got to feel pretty good about yourself. Hard to argue with another notch in the win column, especially one like that. Hey, looks like somebody made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, and please check out NX Gamer, Zatharax, and Manic Impact. Until then, I am... Wayne Knowles.